Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Drop, and we're back again with another video. This is Balkan video games were different. Let's check it out. I'm from the Balkan, so let's see what's different. Video games. They're quite if there's different. anything that can overarchingly unify <laughs> Mostly every old. people in the world, then that would have to be video games. As every person from the I mean, and prairies of the United States to the concrete jungles concrete of Japan jungles? spent their childhood playing video games, and the Balkans are no exception. True. However, unlike much of the West, yeah, it was a lot of Counter Strike, World of Warcraft, and GTA San Andreas and Vice City, to be honest. Oh, and some worms. Worms was dope. World, things were a bit different. During the 80s, a 90s, and arguably early 2000s, when most of us were growing up in the West, one of the main video game producers for kids was Nintendo. And yeah. many of you watching from the US most likely have... We heard nothing about Nintendo here in Bulgaria, to be honest. Like, I played the first Mario, 80 some shit, but I was like... Because that's the only thing that will run on my computer Long back then. Of playing Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, Donkey Kong, and many Not other Donkey Kong. Yeah, hey, I played this in dude, the though. Balkans, this wasn't the case. Nah. If you've been a long-time viewer of this channel, you're hey. aware that here we had this little thing called communism that yeah. basically deemed us as retarded for a good half of the 20th century. Yeah. And essentially isolated. And it it still does that for some people. Unfortunately, older people. Us yeah. From the international community because our dear leaders cared more about being in a leftist book club rather than decent living standards, which impacted the that? amount of money people had to spend on essential goods such Damn. as food, clothes, and video games. As such, Damn. mainstream video games popular in the West were practically <laughs> non-existent in the Balkans. An average more, Balkan enjoyer. They were even seen as extreme luxuries <gasps> that either only the wealthiest member of Balkan society or people with relatives abroad. Had. After socialism crumbled what and the, the free market started to be embraced in the late 90s and early 2000s, <laughs> consumer what is going on in that video? to make their way to the peninsula. But because of the significantly lower amounts of disposable income, yeah. a lot of families could only afford secondhand computers imported from Germany or PCs with really weak computing power. Even True. so, few families even possessed one. This ultimately impacted what game. Bro, I had to go to my cousin's house to play games. We had like. We had like this one shooting game, but it was like, you don't move, it's just like a screen. You have a crosshair and you're shooting and it automatically moves for you. I don't remember the name of it. We had worms and like those card games that you get with Windows. You don't even download those. Oh, it yeah, it was bad. Amongst the kids it was bad. The Balkans. A lot of games that were popular usually... Yo, what do we have here? Yeah, San Andreas. Yeah, I, even I played FIFA and I hated soccer. Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. Oh yeah, Warcraft 3, bro. How can you forget Warcraft 3? Legendary games. Pre-installed on the computer. Yeah, some of these, I don't know. The classics that were disposable in the West, such as Space Cadet 3. Oh yeah, games, this was a, a thing. Digital pinball game and this was dope. Minesweeper, aka yeah, Boss in Life Minesweeper. Simulator. However, there were others that somehow every Balkan PC one. magically had pre-installed. Oh, on, Heroes 3, bro. Stress relief, which was oh yeah, that shit. allowed the player to pick a variety of tools <laughs> from a hammer, chainsaw. <laughs> we used to download that in the school computers. A teacher would go crazy, bro. Gun, flamethrower, and termite hand, to name a few, <laughs> and then use them to destroy the Windows XP default background. Another Oof. one was Zuma, which had Zuma? graphics that resembled one of a slot machine game more. I've never heard of this one. Than one for kids, where the player took control this one. of a frog that would spit out different colored balls and have to match three of the same color in a row of balls that were heading to a hole before they. I, I used to play with different balls. Map. As technology became more widespread and video games became more popular amongst the youth, more games also started to get played. However, at this oh, yeah, point, the as well. availability of computers Ugh. and the internet was still quite limited. Oh, Diablo so too. games that would be obtained were very small regarding their needs of storage space. Jazz and Jack power. Rabbit. So the way new games would be obtained was via a couple of ways. One of them involved. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but that was Heroes of Might and Magic Five. Oh, I least love that game. Going to a video game shop. Now in the West, this was usually a GameStop or some other equivalent. But here, game shops were usually integrated in a computer repair shop, which was run by some middle-aged computer nerd who would be one yeah. of the few people in town with internet access who'd pirate a shit ton of games and then burn them on these thick. And then sell them. Hey, quick story for this. Listen, I used to play StarCraft when I was a wee ass kid. Like, really, I think I was in first or second grade. Maybe even a little bit older. And there was this one kid on the block. 
on the plug that he, he had StarCraft and he had cheats. My dumbass did not have internet then and I wanted cheats. I don't know why, I wanted them. And that motherfucker sold me cheat codes on a piece of paper. It was my lunch money for like a week. Scammed the shit out of me. CDs, Little motherfucker. Which have custom printed covers, which you can choose from a catalog oh, the... lying on the counter. Bro, I remember I played that mat Matrix game on the bottom left there. <laughs> it was so jank. A lot of the time, the clerk would uh, also Heroes provide 5. you with a sheet of paper that had written instructions World of Warcraft. on how to crack the game as well. Yeah. If your parents oh, couldn't afford so that, then one of your friends is could. So then they'd give you a flash drive with the game which was passed around school more than Riley Reed in a single shoot. And the games on it would eventually make Damn. their way onto the computers in the school's IT lab. In this time period, one of the most popular games that every single Slav watcher yeah. would have an attack of nostalgia from just mentioning was Heroes 3. Yes! I don't think anybody can forget the unskippable cutscene at full volume you had to sit through <laughs> when you first opened the game on a fresh computer, giving away your location to all IT teachers in a 10 oh, radius. Essentially, Heroes 3 was, Bro, was a such a good game. strategy game where you could control one of nine factions yeah. that consisted of fantasy Wait. creatures could be There were nine factions? Dang. At war against one another. To influence the outcome of battle alongside controlling your units, you could also cast spells such yeah. as Armageddon and completely nuke the entire map. Another franchise that alongside being popular in the Balkans was also popular in the West was San GTA, Andreas. in particular GTA Vice City and San Andreas. Yep. Like the majority of my peers, one of my earliest memories was of me and my six year old cousin utilizing cheat codes we kept in a notebook hey, to summon- I still remember some of them. I think it was Hesoyame for uh, for, that was for San Andreas, right? That was a. Uh, Health, money, and armor. A tank Bro, and just I don't play San Andreas in like many stars 10 plus get. years, maybe even more. I don't think I still remember that shit. Balkans as a kid, even Aspirin and, and Vice City. There were an actual story or campaign in these games. True. And everyone just went driving around cars yeah. like maniacs and shooting innocent bystanders. What made going around driving in Vice City and San Andreas and committing heinous crimes well, against humans? First off, a big part of why people didn't actually play the story was because. A lot of people didn't actually have like home owned PCs in the Balkans because and the only way to play these types of games was to go to a like a PC. It wasn't a shop. It was like a PC gaming area thing where you pay for an hour. It was pretty cheap, but you pay for an hour and then you play on a computer for an hour, whatever you want. And like it's all public. So you have a save file, but some motherfuckers going to delete your save file and you're like, eh, so you don't really. You don't really play so the story. Was also the radio, which oh my god, had some yeah. of the best tracks like. Yeah, music was or... dope as hell. Which <laughs> no video game has ever been able to replicate. Well, since. come on. However, come on. it could have been. There's some video games have dope ass music, like the Persona games, like. Oh, yeah, I mean, even better if at the time I had a pair of Raycon earbuds, baby! Okay, listen, I have to be completely honest. When I found out Raycon wanted to sponsor my channel, Wait, I nearly spons screamed out of joy oh, like a sponsored by Raycon? anime school girl. I've unironically always wanted to try them out, as I've only ever heard good things from people about them. And the that's for a good reason, because holy shit are they good! Okay, uh, we don't do sponsors, but... <laughs> I don't have a Raycon, so fuck Raycon. Spaceship and we're Joking. shooting chickens Maybe they're in space, good. which were I've never played. Oh, on. I remember this one. Yeah, just a brute like space invaders, but you could get some insane power ups. Yeah, where your could go all over the map, which was just like ecstasy for kids. I remember these Another chickens. Another one was the Moor Hunt series, which was a franchise yeah. of a variety of different games that also with the dog chickens. You had your classic Moor Hunt, where you clicked on chickens that would pop up to shoot them. But you also had more hunt racing. I've not played the racing ones. Racing and go karts. And Bro, I'm pretty sure these are the games where the, there is like this fucking annoying ass dog that comes out from time to time, grabs a chicken by the throat, and points it to us. <laughs> I hate that dog. Considering none of us even knew about the existence of Mario Kart, this was the best thing in the entire world. And what's <laughs> funny about these games was that a lot oh. of them were in German oh. because that's where the PC came from. So because naturally barely any of the kids spoke German, we'd all just have to instinctively learn what each button did through trial and error. And of course, 
we can't forget the staple arcade Balkan game, Feeding Which Frenzy, is? where the player took control of a fish and would eat other fish in an effort mm. to get bigger and bigger while avoiding bigger fish. Who would like I've to not eat seen you, this before. With the final goal becoming so big you can eat a whale. Obscure platformers were also huh? quite popular. One of such games was a 3D platformer, Santa Claus in Trouble, which, again, somehow 90% of computers had pre-installed already. The players took control of I've Santa not Claus seen this and as well. had to jump on different platforms, avoiding enemies and collecting Looks jank presents. as hell. <laughs> but although simple and intended for kids, this game was excruciatingly frustrating as the controls were so painstakingly clunky and it was an art form itself Ooh. to learn to control Ooh. him. But the main thing that made a game popular in the Balkans was if it had available hot seat and LAN multiplayer yes. capabilities. Yes. As I said earlier, the availability of computers was quite limited mm. and not everyone could afford one. So to play video games, a bunch of kids would gather at one friend's house who had some piece of shit toaster and then either take turns playing a game or all of us would use the same keyboard to control our own characters. But Or as I said, you go to these PC shop areas. And you Some play there. Of the most popular multiplayer games at the time were especially real oh, yeah, Age of Empires, like Age of Empires, and Age of Mythology, and especially Red Alert okay. and Command and Conquer. Listen, for some reason, I know Red Alert and Command and Conquer were really famous. None of the people, like where I was from, actually played this. Like, I don't know. I don't think I know anybody that actually played these games. Which is crazy because they're so popular, in actually, no way in Eastern Europe. Ever be published today, as they had completely non-ethnically motivated Asian and Middle Eastern factions. China will grow larger. But amongst them, you also had arguably the best game, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, which brings up so Never many memories play this. of me and my friends taking control of these two rabbit brothers who Yo. run around shooting turtles and monsters while traversing 2D platformers in a mission to Was save that? the rabbit princess from the evil Chud Turtle who for some reason controls an army of robots and de- Is this not just Mario? Demons and is also a demon himself. The game was uh, a so stylized demon. with unique art and sprite movements and had some killer music as well. But nice. the two games that dope. dominated hot seat multiplayer had to be Pocket Tanks and Worms Armageddon. Pocket Both games were wor quite similar. With Bro, Worms was the shit. I'm pretty sure it would. I don't know why Worms died. It's such a good concept. Where players it's so awesome. To shoot different types of ammo at each other. I've not played a tank game, map, but I play a lot of worms. To yes. Themselves not to get shot. Personally, my favorite of the two was worms, as the art style was way more cartoony, and you had a larger variety yeah. of more bizarre weapons. Some of which. Bro, there was a sheep. You throw the sheep and you click space again, it blows up. It makes this little. Like, while it runs, it's hilarious. Up you and the entirety of the map. Truly a masterpiece. As the popularity of video games start to grow, more games also start to. Oh yeah. This Prince of Persia. I used to play those so much. Sense of Time Warrior within the Two Thrones. About oh the God. Of PS2 I'm getting so many memories for this PC video. And then sold in grocery stores on a rack near checkout. So, a lot of the time, parents would buy one of these games on the way back home for True. their kids. Which usually was some kind of Disney game like Tarzan, Toy Story, and Hercules. Which, holy shit, was fun. Everyone I know owned Hercules, and it was generally one I've of never the seen best this. Disney games hands down. Essentially, it was a mix between a beat-em-up and Looks a pretty good though. which had different levels based on <laughs> the movie. But the most infamous of all the Disney games was Aladdin. This one too was a yeah, platformer, I played this one. but the map was <laughs> so confusing and filled with enemies that it was the Dark Souls of Balkan games with 99% of, of my Balkan friends games. claiming they never could go past the first level as kids, as enemies would just kill you with bullshit you had no idea how to overcome. Yet, as time progressed, the internet became more prevalent and available. As such, uh, internet cafes Balkan started up all over Balkan towns. And of course, yeah, maybe I was a little too young for this. Because, yeah, this was pretty much when I was growing up in the internet cafes. Kids would flock Without the cafe, there wasn't ready cafes. To spend their meager launch money on computer games. At this time, LAN and online multiplayer games really start to get popular. Of course, you can't talk about yeah. this time period without CS 1.5, 6, Source. In every internet cafe, this was the hottest shit out there. Yup. Hordes of kids would duke it out against one another in the famous Dadas 2 map. And that was what? a 
would duke it out against one another in the famous The Dust 2 The Dust? Map And he pronounced that like that. a buttload of memes like Out my way, son! Oh, I remember this. <laughs> At this time, League of Legends came out and mm. instantly became... First off, there was Dota 1 before the League of Legends that was crazy famous. It was a map on Warcraft 3. A modded map, custom map. Yeah. A huge God, I'm old. I I'm so old. That it's a behemoth of a game with a player base with uh, not the greatest reputation. But back in the day, the game... Bro, you can't say that and not mention Counter-Strike. The strikes even more cancer than league looked way more Come jagged, on, bro. clunky, and was one of the yeah. most fun things in the world to play with your friends as no one took it as seriously and tried True. to make the most of their time at the internet cafe and then tell the stories of their ridiculous matches next day at school. If competitive games weren't your forte, then naturally you'd play World of Warcraft. Yeah. Now, again, Wait, I know that what do you mean competitive games? World of it had arena and battlegrounds, bro. Well, the Warcraft was pretty competitive. This was quite popular in the West, but the thing is, no one in the Balkans could afford a subscription. So instead, people played a crack pirate servers. And also Let's go, and baby. Servers to play on, many of which would lack core features of <laughs> yeah. the game. But Bro, the server I used to play on as a kid, no one, none of the NPCs would cast spells. Bosses did not have spells. Half of the quests did not work. It was so jank. It was still fun though. it was still so much fun to yeah. just be able to play the base game. At this time, the internet was also <laughs> introduced in the computer labs. Yeah, why school. is that doing so, that? So, like everywhere else in the world, instead of actually learning how to use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or the basics of Python, instead, everyone in the class would play Flash games. Oh of yeah, course, Flash games. Like Miniclip, Newgrounds dominated with their edgy games, with one of the most popular... Oh, I remember this! Trouble. But some of yeah. the more locally recognizable sites were Freb.com and mm. Pokey.hu, mm. where there were more Flash games than you knew what to do with them all. A popular one... There was that one zombie game. Player ...was Fireboy and Water the... Girl, which was a I've never seen puzzle that. platformer where the players had to solve puzzles to allow the others to enter different chambers on the map and collect all the gems. <laughs> but of course, although Although these games were great, there were also masterpieces such as the Pilsner game where nine-year-olds collected falling beer bottles while a PNG of a woman What the hell? And of course, the greatest digital gem. Which is? Bro, I've and met yeah, some bangers. Those were just some of the games popular in our childhood. Let me know which game did I miss and which were your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button and if you really did, smash the subscribe Damn, I've missed some bangers by the looks of it. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, you know, check out the channel, my boy. Let me know which games you played in your childhood. I mean, I know most of y'all motherfuckers are small as hell, so. Anyway, there's bound to be some old motherfucker here that's like, I've played like the first game that God made. Anyway, let me know. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.